Chris uh, Whitty had to say this morning was absolutely right. This is a, a, a very perilous moment because everybody can, can sense that the vaccine is coming in. Uh, they can see that the UK is, uh, is vaccinating large numbers of those who need it most. And my worry is, and Chris's worry, is that uh, this is the moment where that could breed a, a false, confidence, false complacency. And that, when you look at what's happening in the NHS, is that complacency is not merited. Uh, we have a really tough fight on our hands. So what we will do is, of course, can keep the, the guidance, keep the rules under review. But more important, as Chris said this morning, more important than us just pushing out new rules, people have got to follow the guidance. So in supermarkets, people need to be keeping their distance, making sure that they're wearing masks, doing the right thing. We're going to keep the rules under constant review. Well, we have to tighten them, and we will. But we have rules uh, in place already, which, if they are properly followed, uh, we believe can make a huge, huge difference. And uh, it's now that people need to, to focus. Uh, they need to be, when they're out shopping, whether they're buying uh, cups of coffee in the, uh, in the park or whatever it happens to be, they need to think about uh, spreading the disease. And as, uh, as Chris said, one contact that you have can be a chain of transmission for this disease. So now is the moment uh, for maximum vigilance, maximum uh, observation, observance of the, of the rules. Uh, and, and of course, uh, if we feel that things are not, you know, are not being properly observed, then we may have to, to do more. But far, far better uh, for people to obey uh, the rules that we have uh, than simply to, to promulgate uh, new rules. Today, I think I can, uh, I can confirm that uh, we, we've done roughly 40% of the 80-year-olds in this country already. We've vaccinated 40% of the 80-year-olds in this country. So from now on, uh, just in a couple of weeks, every single one of those will have a very high degree of protection. Uh, we've done about 23% of the elderly residents of, of care homes. And remember how important uh, that is in fighting uh, coronavirus. So, uh, as I say, they will also start to have a very high degree of, of protection. But it's a race against time because we can all see uh, the threat that uh, our NHS faces, the pressure it's under, uh, the, uh, the demand in uh, int intensive care units, uh, the pressure on, on ventilated beds, uh, even the shortage of oxygen in some places. And we've got to focus on what we all need to do uh, together to bear down on the disease, to follow the guidance, protect the NHS, stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. People have got to remember that key message.